Okay, so it's going to be a guide of how to try and maximize your hag potential. So we're going to do early on in the game is you put in traps down in high traffic locations wherever we can. Main Torment is notoriously difficult for certain killers because of this middle building. It's um, very easy for survivors to come in here, avoid the killer, break, break chases them just by going through certain locations in the building and going to these other tiles outside. Hag doesn't really have that much problem with his map. He's able to exert a lot of pressure because of the middle building. Because a lot of people will be coming through there. And that makes her power very, very strong. Any map that offers high traffic locations is going to be very beneficial for that. So here, as you can see, we didn't do a chase in the orthodox fashion. We used her power to get um, to catch back up with this Jane that we actually cancelled our chase on. We made two mistakes there. We could have we could have actually hit through the window, I believe, upstairs. And we could also teleport below because the trap got triggered early. We could have actually landed and down that Jane five, ten seconds earlier than we actually did properly. So we're going to hook this person. There's no point going towards that person. The flashlight, you won't catch up with them. Put the person on the hook. Move over here, stick some uh, stick a trap down. I always like to try, if I can, place traps a little bit away from the hook. Unless the team... Unless you know that team are being very, very altruistic immediately. That's the only time I really put traps down right below the hook. The reason you don't put them right below the hook for quite often is experienced players these days will sprint towards the hook against Hag and then stop relatively close, crouch and move towards the hook and unhook. That nullifies your trap. If you put them a little bit away from the, uh, from the actual hook, you got to got quite a high chance of somebody triggering that trap back to them. I'm not expecting you to have planted a little bit away. Here we go after this Jane again triggered. We try and hide our red stain and flick around and what would have been a good hit because we did actually mind game them into thinking was coming around the pallet. Did not work out because I potatoed quite badly. Usually a lot better at those than I was just then. Keep on going. We'll take that pallet stun. We'll look straight ahead. There's no generators ahead of us, but there is a tile with probably a pallet, windows, and something else. So we've decided to cancel that chase and move on. Keep the pressure going in our high traffic locations and put all the pressure back on the survivors. I'm not giving them a moment to rest properly. That person is trying to once more move us towards a location that isn't to our benefit. So we're not going to chase them. I knew that was being worked on, so we looked around, found the Meg. Mm. And once again, it's going to an area that we don't really need to be chasing into. We've got sloppy infantophobia. So what we're doing is we're giving them the option. Take your time, heal up, slow that gen progress down, or work for your generator as well injured. It's up to you. You can't do both. We're not respecting that pallet. And here we're going to bait out a bit of this flashlight use, get some of that battery power down. He's only got that work for so long, so we had to break it. We opted not to teleport, because doing that would open us, open us up to the chance of making a mistake by teleporting. And it wouldn't have given us any extra time. So we uh, just chase it down normally. We're going to plant it on this hook over here. We're not going to put a trap underneath her because you know where the survivors will be. It's going to be that direction where all the generators are. So you're going to plant two traps down here in locations I expect them to be running through. Which is there and here. There was a window, but we didn't trap that. And we'll smack this to keep our gen pressure going. And we'll move on. We found the Jane though, nice and quickly. So we'll go after her. We stupidly didn't. We stupidly respect that pallet for no real reason. Once more, we're gonna put another trap down because it's all that window. And Jane goes and potatoes quite hard here. So into a locker. We take quick and quiet. I don't know what you thought was gonna happen there. We saw crows on the right. Someone's over there. 
bit of work going to go back over here because you know the person actually jumps through that window that I didn't trap. We know that because the two traps are still up, well, they, the only two traps we made. We'll go around this direction to try and herd them towards those traps. Could have hit on that bill. And that's where we're going and unfortunately the person was just unhooked triggered our traps. There's four survivors still in this game, three generators left. I'm experienced enough now to know how quickly games can change. I've decided to make the de decision not to be a nice guy and stick on a hook again. In my opinion, that unhook, whilst I understand it, they shouldn't have probably healed up straight away. They should have thought that would be coming back. They took the risk and they're going to suffer. It. This location here was very good, that trap. That trap knocked the survivor's camera towards the wall, which adjusted her direction. She was going to go for the window, it actually made her run into a wall, it made her go towards the window afterwards, then she panicked, didn't think she had enough time, and then she tried to go back towards the door. The actual instance of being hit gave her a sprint burst though, and funnily enough, it made her run straight into a door frame, not the actual doorway. So I managed to get her down very, very quickly. And I think she's out of the game as well. So that's two people off the board. Three gens left, two people remaining. This is where you can feel pretty comfortable now. And if you look at the wee uh, stairway, hello Meg. <laughs> I noticed that, but we're going to play cool. Put some more traps down. Keep our resources being useful to us. She's been stealthy so we know she's around here. Unlike be around the right where the banishes are, she's going to opt for something that's got immediate. Could have went for that door, actually, and cut her off. But yeah, she's going to go for the location that has immediate, an immediate obstacle, an obstacle to the uh, the killer's eye. So she went left instead of right. Just the direction I went. Went here. We found the bill. Beautiful. Give that generator a slap just to make sure there's no late game sudden turnaround that general will regress nicely it'll make sure that they'll still have three gens to do even if something bad goes here come to a location where ordinarily i might not have chased i would have probably backed away if there was four survivors still and would have found an easy target but there's only two with three gens left to do no dramas we're going to go for it he's self-caring through sloppy butcher he's got balanced landing though so he's going to zoom away a little bit but no stress again We've got a trap right here. Quite traffic location. Bing bang bosh. Easy. That's how you hag. Stick him on a hook. Try and find the last person. That is a situation where I would probably have said you should probably um, trap and leave the hook. Last person. Why not? I didn't know. And we found the person anyway, so it didn't really matter. So uh, trap and leave that hook would have got that person down if I didn't come out that doorway at that exact time. So that's something to learn as well. There's always something. We, we All of us as killers are always play a game. We can always look back and we can always pick out things we could have done better. There's a few things there I picked out that I could have done better and I will try and improve for next time. What do we have? We had a potential window vault that we could have smacked the person through. We had the teleport immediately when they landed that we could have teleported to. We had an attempt at a mine game around a pallet that we should have done a lot better and actually hit them. And we should have probably trapped underneath the hook a couple of times. Even though that does seem a contradiction to what I said earlier, there is, low, there is times and situations where trapping right underneath the hook is the best option and a couple of times that game I felt looking back I should have probably trapped straight underneath. But yeah I hope those sort of instances of gameplay helped you improve your hack play and if it did please hit a like, give us a comment and let us know how your game has been going, I'd love to know. Recommendations or anything you think I've said wrong, please do let me know because I'm completely open to feedback, constructive criticism and all that and for all you watching out there, take it easy and best of luck out there in the vlog guys, see you in a bit.